for a real burst of summer flavor and also that holiday vibe, I have a delicious dessert for you. Pina Colada mini desserts. These are little shot glass desserts. You love them. I'm Catherine Fulvio. Welcome to Ballynockland Cookery School. Before we get into the recipe we are so close to 1000 subscribers and I'll be giving away a free access pass to my barbecue hot and smoky online cookery course to one lucky subscriber once we hit that 1000 so hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to be notified about all my upcoming recipe videos so to start with we get our hob on and we just melt some good Irish butter and I've already got some biscuits crushed up here and I'm going to blend the butter in with it. Okay, let's give this a stir. Okay, job done. And here we have our biscuit base. And I'm just putting in just enough butter just to dampen the biscuits. I don't want this to go rock hard in the fridge, so... You just need a little bit of the butter. It's kind of a sand texture. That's what you're looking for. See where I'm going with this theme? Summer vibes. Oh, that's perfect. Put that out of the way. Yeah, that is sand texture. Now let's get the rest of these gorgeous flavors together. So for this, here I have some pineapple that I pureed. You don't have to buy fresh pineapple for this. If you've got a can of pineapple in your store cupboard, use it for this recipe. It's a great way to use it up. So, this goes, it smells gorgeous. It smells lovely. And then we have mascarpone. And then we have our rum. And we give that a little mash together. Now we need a little bit of nutmeg in our biscuit base as well. As I'm standing here looking at it, I totally forgot to put it in. So let's get that in now in case I forget it. Just a little bit of nutmeg. Little goes a long way there. Okay, a little bit of vanilla. Not too much, you don't want to darken the color too much, but you want that lovely flavor. And now we just mash all of this together. You need to kind of be fairly tough with it because you want to break up the mascarpone. Okay, let's get the whisk at the job now. The whisk will get it together really nice and smooth for us. It smells divine. I mean, think of it. You've got rum in there. You've got pineapple, a little bit of vanilla. It's a lovely, lovely recipe. Gorgeous. Let's taste that now. Make sure we're happy with the flavours. In case we need to sweeten it a little bit or anything. Oh no, that is spot on. Really, really nice. So now we just build this. And we'll start with our biscuit base. I'm using teaspoons for this job. I'm just getting a little bit in on the base. you can make much bigger ones than this I'm just thinking of little dainty desserts something that you could have made sitting in the fridge ready to serve let's wipe our spoons here and we can go on with our pina colada top okay and then this goes There's a real taste of the tropical here. And then this will go to the fridge and they'll set. Your mascarpone just does need to set a little bit. Of course you can change up the flavours of this. But I just think the pina colada concept is really, really nice. Especially in the summer. Holiday vibes. Lots of lovely, fresh flavours. 
I'm going to top this with coconut as well. And that's going to just finish this off. And I'm using rum, but you could have used some Malibu. If you have any left over from the 1980s, maybe. You could use Malibu in this. Now it's time to get the cream from the fridge. Let's get a little bit of vanilla cream on top. Okay, and then finish with some toasted flaked coconut. These look gorgeous. A taste of the tropical. These are very impressive for when your friends are coming over. You can make bigger versions of them, but don't they look so dinky as they are? And you could serve them alongside other desserts as well as little tasters. So there are my pina colada mini desserts. I hope you enjoy them.